All right, another Duke Nukem. One v one against Savior again. All right. Duke Nukem is a red pro. I'm gonna be interested to see if he does a mid base build and tries to break Zerg's choke. And I know the Zerg's gonna choke because he has to choke. Um, but he's gonna want to stay ahead in economy, so he's gonna actually have to get some drops. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. I, I see what he's doing. Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, there, there's multiple ways he can he can go about this. He could be building some of his gates up here so that that way the zealots go faster, like to get to his base. But they, he don't know where he's at yet, so it doesn't make sense. Or he could be choking up, going drops, because he he doesn't expect them to be zerg. Or he could just be putting some cannons for a little rush. He, yeah, he's turtling up. This this indicates it's going to be a long game. A very long game. The reason why is because the Zerg's choking, he's choking. And it's basically going to go... They're not even going to be attacking each other until like 10 minutes into the game. So... You don't see a Protoss do this in a 1v1 very often, so it's kind of odd. Because Protoss is really, its main deadliness is in the early stages of the game. Mid stages would be Terran and Zerg is late game. If you're bringing the Zerg into a late game, chances are you're going to lose. Because you just won't be able to control the amount of units that ha Zerg has and the type the only way he's gonna have a chance is if he can if he continuously just drops and he's a mid base Zerg so that's his disadvantage so the advantage in the beginning of the game is towards the red Protoss but depending on what he his what he's trying to do if he's trying if it, if it goes to an end game Zerg was gonna have the advantage Unless it goes to an end game and he's constantly broke and he can't, he don't have the money coming in because of the drops that are gonna drop behind and go for storm or reavers. It it depends. We would just have to see. He's going heavy on gas right now so I'm guessing he's going reavers not storm if he's already gotten three geysers going let's see if he puts a robotics facility down yeah he's definitely going he, he don't even have his citadel of a dune yet so he's not going storm. He's going reavers. Yep. He's going fast drops, which is good. But he's going to want to. I think he's going to want to. After he drops them, he's going to want to have to double the nexus because he wants. He needs to have some kind of money coming in. That way he can produce units and attack. Dropping's good, but you can't win unless they leave because they gave up or you destroy other buildings you can't destroy other buildings which is reaver drops but I, I see what he's trying to do and it looks like it's Jeej there's no way he's uh, he even if he dodges this it's not it's done oh he didn't have a reaver in there okay smart move he's just harassing the drones taking them off the minerals and being a nuisance slowing the money down of the zerg which is smart 
And now here comes the Reaver. He's using those Zealots to, for the vision. Here comes the Reaver. The Reaver is going to make it GG. Pretty positive. Yep. Ooh. He got... Yep, GG. And see, these are these are how the one v ones go. And a lot of it came down to positioning. So, GGs.